My YouTube series is set in a chicken shop, which probably means the celebrities think I can't cook. But you know what? I'm gonna give it a clucking good go. <laughs> yeah, no, that's very good. First up, the main chicken Milanese with pasta and tomato sauce. Milanese? That'll be Spain, won't it? So Milan. What? I could be wrong. You are. Milan's in Italy. One thing you need to remember is don't get the raw chicken fingers anywhere else. That's how you die, so don't do that. Noted. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah, and try not to drop it, too. Put them all together like that, friends, best friends. Cute. Look how cute that is. Good night, chickens. Sleep tight. No bedtime story. So her meal might be just like her. Very subtle, but it hits in all the right places. <laughs> Nothing subtle about that. All that. Mm. One more for luck. I reckon chicken milanese is a fancy way of saying breaded chicken. You are spot on. An essential ingredient is breadcrumbs, which Amelia is making with the world's tiniest grater. It's portable, so I can bring it anywhere with me. Andy, if you want to grate teeny tiny food on the go. <sighs> this could take a while. I don't like doing this. Plan B. So as Anthea would say, here's one I made earlier. Bought earlier. Just the same, no one will ever know. I will. The pulverised poultry is dipped in flour and egg. Feels rank. This is actually disgusting. It feels like, like when you when you're doing the washing up and you touch a bit of food by accident. Nice. Oh. After a final dip in the breadcrumbs. Oh, that's beautiful. Yeah, stunning. The flattened fillets are ready for frying tonight. It would be good if she was making this with homemade pasta. Tough. She's not. To make fresh pasta, you need machinery, skill, knowledge. You also have to be Italian. I'm none of those things, so it's not happening. Strong logic. Well, at least she's making her own tomato sauce. If she can master onion chopping. Are you meant to peel that off? I don't know what to do. Are you serious? Mum, I need some help. Help? Yes. <laughs> um, yes. How many layers of the onion do you peel? <laughs> Well, I usually take off the skin and the first one. This one? Yes, that's that. it. Yeah, the whole thing. Yeah, that's better. Yeah, okay, I got it, I know. Okay. And that wasn't hard, was it? Shall I just do it? Okay, fine. See, you should have cut, cut more of that hard bit off. You didn't tell me that. I did. Do you want to do the other half? Not really. Pay attention, Amelia. Is that enough? Yeah. Carry on. You don't listen, you don't listen. This is what I have to deal with. Oh, life is so unfair. Mum's perfectly chopped onions are bunged into tomatoes and herbs. How's that? That's really nice. That's really good. Right, you go and have a lie down. You must be shattered. Sounds harsh, but I've got low expectations for tonight. I might even eat beforehand. <laughs> Time for arch interrogator Amelia's unique take on entertainment. She created her own TV show in the living room and forced us all to play. Would you rather eat a yellow toenail or lick a smelly armpit? I'd rather lick a smelly armpit. Who would you least like to sit next to on a long haul flight out of these three people here? AJ. Just because AJ will talk a lot and I'm just like, yo, AJ, I want to sleep, babes. I want to sleep. But I felt like I was in the chicken shop, but I wasn't. I was in her living room. Is it true that your shoes are fake? No, these are real Louboutins. OK, so they're not fake. They're not fake. Someone told me they were. Who told you that? Yes, AJ, we're looking at you. And what? Don't look at me. I, I know oh. nothing about shoes. <laughs> yeah, I know that. Amelia did ask quite a few questions that did make the vibe a little bit, it was a bit tense. If I hear people cringing or see people cringing, it doesn't faze me, I just know I'm doing something right. Why don't you follow Marcel on Instagram? I think I do. You don't? Oh my God, that's so deep. Why would you do that? Do you hate him? No. Why were we all playing along? What is your worst habit? Biting my nails. Incorrect. Exactly. <laughs> oh, wow. She's so good. 
<laughs> Why should this gonna do? <laughs> that is not entertainment. That's abuse. <laughs> Would you rather squash a bag of kittens or a bag of puppies? Oh, that's horrible. In the spotlight with Amelia was intense. When was the last time you farted? <laughs> when I was downstairs waiting to come into your lovely apartment, I kind of hung, hung back and just let rip. <laughs> she does awkward really well. Would you rather... <clears throat> Be forgotten or hatefully remembered? Completely and utterly tipexed out of life, exactly. forgotten. You'd rather that? Yeah, and I probably will be. What is the most diva-ish thing you've ever done? Fell asleep on Marcel's sofa because I needed to get away from everybody. Oh, wow. wow. I was hey. that excited by the company. Right. <laughs> if you came in from the outside, I think you'd just want to crawl under the chair and die. Thanks, it's been great. Entertaining, would you say? Yeah. Yeah! yeah. Time for the main. Amelia fries her fillets. Cook my chickens. And plates up with spaghetti tossed in sauce. Oh my God, I'm like so pleased with this, it's so cool. I'm like, here it is, like, it's totally chicken milanese with spaghetti in like tomato sauce. This is chicken milanese, which is flattened and breaded chicken. Basically a chicken nugget, but just a posh one. Tuck in, I guess. I'm loving the chicken. Chicken is really so nice good. Chicken. And not Gorgeous burnt. Chicken. Not burnt chicken? No. Mm. No, I didn't mean like that. Spicy. <laughs> well, <laughs> this really nice. is lovely. I don't think those two elements should have necessarily been in the, on the same plate. I did kind of like the sentiment. It was almost like being cooked dinner by your six-year-old niece. Oof. It's day three of Celebrity Come Dine With Me and we're in London, where today's host is deadpan comedian and writer Amelia de Moldenberg. I don't really do dinner parties, so this is all a new experience for me, but I'm ready to embrace it. You might need a bigger table for tonight. I'm just hoping tonight that AJ focuses her attention on other people around the table and not me. I just like sink into the background and she just forgets that it's my dinner party. I wouldn't hold your breath. Everyone's got the potential to be a good, fun host. I just think that potential might have passed Amelia by. Ouch! Well, the starter's next. Poached pears with a blue cheese and walnut salad. I love pears. I love blue cheese. And I love walnut salad. I'm really, really happy. Is there a lot of skill involved in poaching a pear and slicing up some blue cheese? I think not. Technically, there's not really that much cooking involved because it's a salad, but you do have to heat up the pears. And there's the complicated process of crumbling blue cheese. I don't think you should trust people who don't like cheese. I'm not really a fan of blue cheese. Hopefully, the blue cheese doesn't overpower it. Oh, my God. No, I definitely need the pear. Which she'll poach tonight. One posh frock and a quick shimmy later. Showtime. And Amelia's ready to greet her first guest. Blazing chicken chara Marcel. Hello. What's going on, Amelia? How's How it you going? Doing? Good to see you. <laughs> There you go. Oh, God. Like a pro. That was so scary. One. Oh, 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 oh no. Oh, 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 oh. Just no. like a pro. No, no. <laughs> Mum's not going to be happy about that. I just got to go get a, a thing, a cloth. <laughs> Next in, it's Glamour Puss AJ. AJ! Amelia, you look amazing. Thank you so much. You. you look gorgeous. Thank you. Nice. As do you, bro. Love it. I love it. Black and white. Nice. Theme, zebra theme. I love zebras. Oh, zebra bants. You don't get enough of that, I don't think. What I think with zebras sometimes is why can't you ride them like you can like horses? horses? No, you can. It's just not done. Could you? Yeah, they're you wild, could. isn't it? Yeah, they're but you could wild. tame a zebra. Like, because there's wild horses that are tamed, oh, and then zebras, you can just put a saddle on a zebra. I didn't know that. Have you ever seen a saddle on a zebra? No, but you could put a saddle on a zebra. Yeah, don't try that at home. <laughs> Up and rocking a massive shirt, Godfather of Gunge, Dave. 
Dave! Yeah, hello, Amelia. Love the shirt, come in. Oh, thank you very much, thank you. It's a lovely long shirt. Yeah, for a very short man. <laughs> <laughs> I don't put this on for sort of many people, so. And you tuck it in for no one. Last of the soiree, it's TV Lidge, Anthea Turner. <gasps> hello! Gosh, you look so gorgeous. Good to see you. Hello. Would you like a drink? I wouldn't say no. OK, here you go. That's a yes. I know I'm a woman, but AJ. What? Oh. Oh. Eyes front, Dave. I know. <laughs> <laughs> AJ's dress was great. I loved it. But, yeah, uh, Anthea thought it was a bit revealing. She's probably just jealous. Meow! OK, guys, I'm just going to go and do the starter really quickly. So just talk amongst yourself. Just hang out. Just chill, relax. Well, we're chilled. Okay. Well, go on then, off you pop. Everyone's very happy and um, I'm excited to <laughs> cook my starter. Oh, you don't sound it. Hang on, I thought you were poaching, not frying those pears. I just don't know how to do the poaching. Well, that'll be why then. I could just do this. I could do this for a living. Not much call for chefs that can't poach. Done! And there it is, poached, well, fried pears with a blue cheese and walnut salad. Thank you so much. That's amazing. So this is a poached pear. No, it isn't. Yep, so, yeah, dig in. Great sell. A nice marriage of tastes. Mm, this is nice. Oh, it looks like you got away with it. I must admit, as I was eating the pear, it didn't taste poached. And what did you poach it in? Uh-oh, she's on to you. Oil. Mm hmm Oil. I didn't know that you could poach pears in oil. Um... You're meant to do that. Well, OK, the thing is, it's not actually poached, it's grilled. You grilled the pears? Yeah. <laughs> ah! <laughs> so it's not poached? Yeah. No, I thought poached was the same as griddled. No. So I just put it... I didn't... <laughs> oh, no. <Yeah. laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> Thanks. Always. No you got one job. Poach your pear. You didn't poach it, did you? Anyway, people still liked it. It's just annoying that I got that wrong. Because if I hadn't got it wrong, then it would have just been perfect. It's night three of our celebrity special. The guy. Oh and poker-faced comedian and writer Amelia de Moldenberg is hoping to impress showbiz glitterati to win a grand for charity. So it's on to the pud. Maybe this will be a bit more complicated. Chocolate fountain. Oh, I appear to spill chocolate on myself. <laughs> yes. Maybe we'll get more sense from Anthea. Da, 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 and it <laughs> oh, maybe we won't. I wanted to do something like a bit different, a bit fun, and didn't involve much actual cooking. So chocolate fountain. Lazy. That's not much effort, that is. You are melting a lot of chocolate and getting us to just dip stuff in it. You've been rumbled. I'm sorry, but if anyone says that I haven't made an effort with the chocolate fountain, then that's just ridiculous because you have to build it. Yeah, and plug it in and turn it on and melt the chocolate. I don't know if I actually like this chocolate. I tried to get, like, posh chocolate, like, the more, more expensive chocolate, because I thought that would be, like, more celebrity, but... I just don't like that one. Fine, whatever. Maybe it'll taste different when it's melted. So does anyone around the table have a celebrity crush? My celebrity crush for a long, long time was actually Julia Roberts. I really fancy, um, I really fancy Prince Harry. I thought Brad Pitt was the best thing since He's sliced still bread. Hot. God, just so hot. Mm. Still and I was it. sent to interview him once. And <gasps> honestly, I couldn't string two words together. I lost oh, the power of speech. No, did you actually? What did you ask just him? Just like bleh, 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 bleh. Hello. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> when I was a little boy. And you'll understand this. I used to watch Sooty quite a lot. Hang on, where's this going? For me, it was Sue, <laughs> it it was Sue the Panda. <laughs> oh, yeah, see what you mean? <laughs> so, Dave loves Sue the Panda from the Sooty and Sweep show. Has everyone lost the marbles here? Cut to years later, I'm doing a guest part. I'm playing oh, a genie yes. on the Sooty show. I kid you not. <laughs> Sue speaks to me and I completely <laughs> forgot my line. Did she really? <laughs> oh, my 
<laughs> Absolutely <laughs> true. And I freaked out. I'm not going to lie, Dave. Like, you're my, you're my guy. I love you. I love you. But on a scale of one to weird, you fancy and sue from City and Sweep is definitely up the weird end. A nine. Yeah. Maybe I should have just kept that quiet. Yeah. Was... Did you ever get a chance to put your hand up her? Anthea! I'm so sorry, everyone. No, what kind of man do you think well, I because am? It's, only because it would have gone like that. It's because you do that. What? Are love... you? No, 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 stop, no, no, stop, no, no, stop, stop it. Stop doing that. No, because yes, you have to fingers up the head. Fingers don't up you? the head, yeah, about there. And then you and, have and the, two yes. little. No, 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 no. Yeah. no. So, if you're watching, you were my first crush. I was, I was very young and you still have a place in my heart. What's that, Sweep? Sue's applied for a restraining order against Dave? Don't blame her. Amelia loads up her gizmo with dippy bits. Ooh, delicious. So all I need to do now is take that to the table and plug it in. Chocolate fountain, everyone! Suck in. I've always wanted a chocolate fountain. Ever since I was a kid, every birthday and Christmas, I'd ask for a chocolate fountain. And you never got one? No, I, I, one time I did get a mini fridge. That was the closest I got. This is quite a romantic thing, isn't it? Should we um, feed each other? Who am I feeding? At me. Uh -oh. oh, ah, oh, right. Oh. What would you like? God damn. No, babe, it's not romantic if you ask me the questions. You just have to do it. Well, do I don't you... want to shove something in your mouth that you don't want. Come here. <laughs> 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 oh, my oh. God. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, is anyone else feeling a bit sicky? Mm. Taxis! Dessert was just absolutely sublime. Oh, I love dessert. Dessert is fun, wasn't it? You know, we all got stuck in. That was more entertaining than the entertainment. Overall, I think I've done pretty well, and potentially I could be in the running for the crown. Sorry, there's no crown. Princess. I wasn't totally sure I was going to enjoy tonight, but... She did come through, she showed me what she could do in the kitchen, and for that reason, I'm going to give her a seven. For the chocolate fountain alone, I'm going to give her a seven. Even though there wasn't a lot of skill involved in that food making, she pulled it off, and it wasn't half bad. And so for that reason, I am giving Amelia a sexy seven. Amelia, I think you're great. You've got an eight. So, with a score of 29, Amelia takes joint second place with Marcel. It's night one of Celebrity Come Dine With Me. Yes! And domestic goddess Anthea Turner is hoping her simple menu from her simple kitchen is enough to win a thousand pounds for charity. Oh, this, this, is, this is wild. This is very this is wild. This is this very is wild. wild. This is wild. Because of the style of my kitchen and because I can't sort of hide and shut the door, I've done what I call a one pot wonder. To that one pot, Anthea adds the wonder, aka beef and flour. Next, the seasoning. A lovely spices. Finally, she adds chopped tomatoes and bay leaves. Hmm. Smells like a Hungarian goulash. Well, that's a bit of luck. I think the boys will really appreciate this. I think AJ is a good eater. And a girl. Now, where do I put this? On the plate! Mm. And there you have it. Hungarian goulash with a dollop of sour cream. Thank there you. There you go. There's that's more. Amazing. There's more if you're hungry. Right. Thank you very much. Thank not gonna lie, when I heard Hungarian goulash, I did think it was gonna be someone from Hungary. So I was trying to think, what celebrities so are from I. Hungary? I couldn't but think of wasn't. any Hungarian celebrities. Mm. Why Hungarian goulash? Because goulash comes from Hungary. Tell us something we don't know. So you're not Hungarian? Have you not been listening? She's from Stoke! Tell you why I did a goulash. Because I thought, I can prepare it all, it's in one pot, and I put it out, and that's it. Because I've got, my kitchen is here in, in the dining room. Her tiny, humble kitchen. <laughs> Please! Have you seen the place? You um, thought it was the neatest, tidiest thing to prepare? Totally. Not because you like it, not because it's your favourite dish, not because you absolutely love it, but because it's easy. You are right there, Amelia? The beef was very tough. It was very chewy. 
it was manly beef. Manly beef, took some manly chewing. That's so cool that you have blue peter pudding mm. on So good. Do you have any blue peter badger just lying mm. around? As it was a prized possession, the blue peter badge. Mm -hmm. Can't you buy them online? What? I had to swim five miles to get mine. I nearly drowned. I went to school with a kid who had a blue peter badge, and one of the things that I always remember about it is that he could get into certain places free. Look. But I do that now. No one likes a show off, Marcel. I'm like, where can you go for yeah. free? Probably. I'm on holiday for free. Do you pay for your flight? Yeah. Oh my what? Gosh. I think you could get free stuff. No, no, them? not me. You could definitely get free stuff. No, I, I, no, I've tried. I've been down that road, and free <laughs> things happen to me very, 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 very rarely. So. I do have a card to a restaurant, actually. Well, Nando's. Like a little black card. That was a real name drop moment, and I stooped. <laughs> I'm it. What happens with me is I say, can I have one? And they say, although we recognise you, Dave, you're not quite the kind of person that we want to give said card to. Don't you worry, Dave, you can borrow one of mine. And then they always quote people like yourself or Ed Sheeran. Wow. Or, or Ed Sheeran. I've got or, or, or one. God, oh, that's got to hurt. Wait a minute, you, you got one? You... Whatever, we're all out there swinging our <laughs> aren't we, really? I was kind of shocked that I sat there and just thought, that's never happened to me. I've never got free stuff. And if you're a Portuguese-inspired chicken restaurant who provide VIP cards, please take note. Dave wants one. And you did was... bring your own back. Get your own back. Get your own back. Get... Play Days was my, was my you. Yourself. It's like, I remember yeah. it like the, the, um, the, the tent stop and it was just literally like, whenever it stopped there, it was literally going to be the best episode of Play Days ever. Dave is my favourite person in the whole entire world. Sorry, Marcel's mum. I feel like I just don't remember so much of my childhood. <laughs> what? I know I was watching TV, but I just... That's I know, I feel like it's very sad, actually, now I'm thinking about it. I blacked out during my childhood. Something happened, I just don't remember. Well, you missed some truly great telly. Moving on. <laughs> Amelia, the craziest job you've ever done. Craziest job? Yeah. I don't know. My main job is that I, I date rappers in chicken shops. <laughs> just run that one past me again. <laughs> I have a YouTube series yeah. where I go on dates with rappers and other kind of celebrities in chicken shops. You should go and visit Amelia in the... Yeah. Can you take me to one? Go on and yeah, we'll go. I just don't think I would take Anthea to the chicken shop yet because, like, I just don't think she'd want to go and I just don't know her well enough and I just feel like it would just stress her out. It's all right, Amelia. You don't have to ask her. Dave and myself will learn so much from them. I think just spending time with them, I think I'm going to reduce my age by at least 10 years. Oh, it'd be brilliant if it worked like that, wouldn't it? It's the final night of Celebrity Come Dine With Me and TV presenter AJ Adudu is hoping her Nigerian fusion menu will help bag her the charity cash. Dessert, puff puff, with a white chocolate sauce. It could be anything from a meringue to... Is she talking about weed? I very much doubt it. What they are are Nigerian donuts and they taste amazing. Well, I'm glad to hear that. AJ adds flour and sugar to a bowl before mixing in yeast. Basically, it's not looking the right consistency. I think I've put too much flour in. It should be falling off the spoon. Not like that. Should I just whack in a bit of flour? In goes more flour and the mixture's left to rise. And tonight, I'll just whack it in the fryer. And that's the prep done. Tonight, it's a real family-friendly vibe, but I am ready to raise the bar. I think it's time for them to get funky. Nigerian style. Hit it, DJ! You all right, Dave? Yes. Here we go. I'm a terrible dancer. I'm just going to put that out there. I mean, it's pro probably quite obvious by the way that I hold myself. It was just fun that, like, the end of the whole experience, we're all, like, dancing in a room together. In Nigeria, <laughs> we spray people, particularly at weddings. Yeah. It's a sign of appreciation. I understand now why Nigerian brides are so happy, because they're having money thrown at them. Make it rain. Yes. Yes. Oh, I suck on you! Getting sprayed with the with the dollar bills. It was a lot of fun. If I ever go to a Nigerian wedding, I know exactly how to act. If I crack this third course, I'm on to a winning night. <laughs> 
Ouch! Onto the pod. This is the moment of truth. I really hope it's risen. Oh, it has. Look at that texture. Let's fry it. The power of this dessert is nobody on that table knows what Puff Puff is. I just want to try this. That is not it, guys. Uh-oh. That is not it. Oh, what I'm going to do is make a brand new mix. God. I hope it's worth the wait. How's this batch? <laughs> oh my God. It actually tastes so right. What about the white chocolate sauce? It looks like lumpy custard. Oh well. Here it is after a second time of trying Puff Puff with a drizzle of white chocolate sauce. Thank you. you. Wow. There you Here we go. This is Nigerian Puff Puff, a traditional dessert. Enjoy. Okay. AJ's dessert was not unlike a very hard donut. They're interesting. I like little puff puffs. It looks a bit like a chicken nugget <laughs> with mayonnaise. <laughs> that is what you call a black. <sighs> AJ versus Amphia is a heavyweight contest. I don't know who's going to get the knockout blow but we will find out very shortly. I think it will be a close call tonight. If I win tonight, I am going to be absolutely over the moon. For a lunar fly past, you'll need to beat Anthea, who's on 30 points. AJ absolutely smashed it. The star, the main, the dessert, all on point. I'm going to give AJ a nine. Tonight, AJ put on a really great, fun evening, and we've all had a laugh, so I think she deserves an eight. Food was good, had loads of fun, nine. I had loads of fun, so for that reason, I'm going to give AJ... Whoa, hold it right there. As host, it's AJ's job to reveal the winner. Woo! It's the moment of truth! Yeah. Oh, no. OK, guys, this is it. OK, and in fifth place, Dave! Right, that's yes, lovely. Thank Dave. you, thank you. In joint third... Is Marcel <laughs> and Amelia? Come on, congratulations! Congratulations! congratulations. Hey. In second place is Anthea Richmond. Ah. Amelia scored nine, giving AJ thirty-five points. Yay. Yay. It's been such a good week, and I feel like I've made friends. Third place is good. It's better than fourth and it's better than fifth. I am very obviously gutted about being last, you know, and being fifth. Ah, the sweet, sweet taste of six eyes. All right, don't rub it in. I wish we could taste it. I am so happy. This money is going to Street Child Nigeria and they will make great use of this cat. Cheers! I've met four friends over this week. I'm pretty sure I'll see some of them at the crossroads. How lovely. I'll see you at the crossroads. Well, I look forward to that.